Well, for starters, they increase safety measures big time. Today, I spoke with a few different districts across the area, and they all said the same thing. Students are the number one priority. Of course, that should come as no surprise, which is why even today, one district had an increase in police presence. More security, more officers, more kids alive. We can't just say something has to be done. It does, but we need to do it. After 17 people were killed at a Florida high school, local administrators took action. They wasted no time brainstorming ways to make buildings safer for our students and teachers. We have added safety monitors, full-time safety monitors, at every single one of our schools. And we're in the process right now of deploying a visitor management system at all of our schools as well. That system, which will be in place next week, will scan the visitor's ID. It will go through a background check and even be run against a sex offender registry. A guard will also vet the person before allowing them inside. We wanted to make sure that everybody understood that safety is a priority for us. Virginia Beach City Public Schools is another district that has ramped up safety measures this year. A crisis response team has formed in each school and a new budget proposal requesting more safety personnel was presented to the board. Back in Suffolk, an emphasis is also being placed on mental health. They're there as a resource for families. They can conduct assessments on our students. They can provide individual and small group counseling for our students right there in the schools. Across the board, administrators say they'll take every precaution to make sure their kids make it home safely. In Suffolk, there are also more cameras in the elementary schools. Officials couldn't exactly go into details, but they say they have enhanced the way lockdown drills are conducted. And as, all, as always, you should teach your kids that if they see something, they should say something. I'm Erin Miller, News 3.